Hello there, Alaskans, wherever you are. Welcome to the Must Read Alaska Show. Coming to you from somewhere in Alaska. This is the place where we talk about, you guessed it, Alaska. Where we keep the mainstream media on their toes and where we are standing up for what's right and a world run by leftists. You can find out more by heading over to mustreadalaska.com and also checking out the Must Read Alaska YouTube channel for some really great content. But first, let's get this party started. All right, I think we're live. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am excited to announce the mayor-elect, Mr. Dave Bronson. Dave, you're looking great, man. There's been a lot going on. It's been a long campaign, but... You look, you look good, man. How are you doing? I am doing well. Uh, <laughs> a lot of office time, that's for sure. But uh, a lot of a lot of Alaskans work harder than I do, I guess. So not not a problem. Hey, listen. Uh, I know we've talked a lot. I, first of all, I always have to say thank you. You've been very gracious to Must Read Alaska, and we really appreciate that. But uh, campaign is over. Uh, I don't think as of right now on a Tuesday at three o'clock that they've certified the election but everybody's pretty much saying mayor elect mr dave bronson here uh wow it's been a, it's been a wild journey uh, yeah you've got a lot of months yes it has been and you've gone through a, a ton but now that the campaign's over i want to shift towards now the municipality that is probably what your focus is on and so one of the first questions i have for you dave is kind of like what's going on with the transition team what can what can we expect and how does that process work just for people that don't know? Well, we've got two uh, very experienced gentlemen that run that, uh, Craig Campbell, uh, former Lieutenant Governor, uh, three-star general, and then Larry Baker, former legislator, assemblyman, uh, um, jack of all trades, uh, uh, collectively, uh, I think <laughs> that between the two of them, they probably got 425 years of experience in politics <laughs> in Alaska. Uh, very wise men who I lean on heavily uh, for all things. And then we've got a lot of other team members that are piling on to uh, form out our, our, uh, our committees that are dealing with anywhere from uh, resource, to, or not resource, but uh, economic development to um, public safety, um, five major groups that are doing those things. And they're looking for policies and people for going forward into a permanent administration. And uh, because once we get the people in place, we can formulate the policies, and then from there we'll act on those policies and plans. Awesome, that's great. No, did Now, do you know, uh, has there been any funds kind of left aside for this transition, or are you kind of just, you know, you're just going along right now? How, how does that process work? Well, it's for the transition, we're raising our own funds, which we're, we are kind of, <coughs> excuse me, back into uh, campaign fundraising mode because uh, uh, according to the budget, there is there was nothing left for us to transition with. I think there was $27,000 left to the uh, six years ago, the Berkowitz um, team to transition, but we're, uh, there's nothing there. So um, we'll, we'll raise our own funds and pay for our own transition, which, which is expensive, but that just, it is what it is. It's also the Bronson way. You guys have done that since the beginning of your campaign. So I yeah. guess uh, why Our not continue? Our will get us through this too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Dave, can I just ask, like, how are you feeling? It's done. You're, you're in. Is it like, it obviously it can't just be a sigh of relief. I'm sure there's plenty more to do. But uh, is now that the campaign's over, are you feeling like this new set of energy? Is it is it rally time? What's what are you feeling like? Well, it's no, it's it's just a new phase transition. We've been actually formally at it uh, for, for a long time, uh, more than a month, um, building a team leadership, the transition leadership team, and and bringing on board uh, <coughs> experts in all these different fields. Uh, we had to presume. You don't get into a race assuming you're going to lose. We got into the race assuming we're going to win. That being said, we had to be prepared on on after May 11th to, be, to hit the ground running. Uh, transition is is uh, not like campaigning. I, a lot more office time, less time out meeting people. But transition is uh, is every bit the work that a campaign is for me. It's far far less for the volunteers. In fact, a lot of the volunteer efforts simply have shut down. 
Um, and which is kind of sad because I don't get to see all the people that we got to see virtually every day in the office getting dispatched to go walk and, and the, you know, our GOTV efforts. Um, uh, I've still got some of my core volunteers leadership that's working with me day in, day out on transition. Transitions a, is a big process, um, mm. very complex in a city of 290,000 people. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of departments, a lot of things that need to be uh, addressed. And these experts, uh, they're doing it for me, uh, setting it up. It's, it's too much for one person to handle all by him or herself. And, uh, but there's no surprises here. Um, uh, it's, uh, it, it is what we expected it to be. And then we suspect, um, I do, that uh, governing after July 1st will be about what we expected. It's, it's very busy work. It's sometimes frustrating work. Um, you just can't do things that you want to do just automatically because we have to deal with, you know, the assembly, which is, um, you know, uh, 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 11 people of, who have differing I ideas. Somebody says it's, it's a committee of 11 mayor wannabes. And I appreciate that, that's not a problem. But at the end of the day, we all got to come together to uh, do what's best for the rest of the city. We, we, we need to fix the potholes. We need to plow the streets. We need to deal with, um, you know, getting our economy back running after the shutdowns. Um, and, I, and I think, you know, the assembly by and large, we all want the same thing. We want prosperity and, and uh, we want uh, safe streets and it's how we get there is where we differ i think sometimes but uh as long as we as long as we want what's best for the city uh i think we'll 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 get to we'll come to solutions we'll get to yes sure absolutely well that leads to like just another question that i think we're all we're all thinking about is the first 90 days dave i know we've talked about it a little bit i know we've probably talked about a nauseam offline but what do those first three to six months look like for you in your administration well, um, nothing's changed on this from the campaign. Not, you know, I, I was asked that, what do, you, what do your first 100 days look like? Well, we've got to deal with, you know, the vagrancy issue, the, you know, the visible homeless issue. We got to keep tackling the, uh, the overall homeless issue. Um, those people who are homeless or are about to be homeless that we don't see all the time and they're not living problematically on our streets. Um, we have to... Uh, uh, take a, a real strong look at how we build in this city and how difficult it is. We've got to get government out of the way. There, there's, there's, no, there's no latitude here, here on this one. We have got to build safe homes, but we have to, we have to do far, far less expensively. The, uh, the, uh, it takes too long and, and our builders are just stymied. In fact, to the point they're voting with their feet, they're going to the valley to do work. And uh, even as a large chunk of our population is migrating the values valley simply to get away from the onerous um, restrictions in the muni. And uh, we, we want to reverse that trend. We would love to get to the point we start attracting people back to living in Anchorage. Um, and uh, I think that's best for everyone. I'm going to work very hard for that. And I'm sure you've heard on the, you know, while you're on the campaign trail, that idea of people getting back to work, as you said, or the ability to for um, home buyers, home builders, people wanting to do renovations, to, to have the ability to do so without feeling like they're got to jump through nine thousand hoops to get a, a you know a bathroom redone. Yeah, yeah. The for permitting sure. process is sometimes more expensive, frankly, than the material than the material list or even the labor list uh, on a project. That that's that's nonsensical. We're we're looking at how they do things in other cities like Charlotte and in and, and, and other cities, Kansas City. And, and uh, there's a whole lot of models out there that do it far better than us. In fact, I'm just going to be quite blunt. Few cities do it worse than us. Uh, and that may shock some people. But uh, Title 21 has become, in its present form, uh, very restrictive on our, on, our, on our business. I'm not talking, obviously, Title 23 the title 21, how we use our land. Um, mm -hmm. and, and if I gave some of the examples, um, uh, er everyone would say, well, that's nonsensical. And you don't learn about it till you try to build something. Right. right. Uh, we don't, we don't have to all go through this before we make changes. 
we see what's going on now. We're going to make changes, and uh, they will at times be startling changes. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, that's awesome because I, I know for me it has been a pain at times, and I know for other people, friends of mine as well, that that's such a struggle that that whole permitting process and and land use. But uh, well, listen, I know, like I said. I haven't heard anything yet of official certification, but I think everybody knows it's inevitable. Are you guys planning on doing an event, an inauguration event, uh, something the community can do and partake with you? Because like you said, half of over half the people that voted voted for you, Dave. And even the people that didn't, maybe the people that did vote for Forrest want to hear from you and want to, um, you know, maybe they liked your message, but they just felt like they got to stick with the party line, if you will. But they really loved your message of let's get back and vote. Is there something that you're going to be doing uh, for an inauguration? Yeah, we're, we're going to have on July 1st, there's a, a series of <coughs> obligations that you have to do uh, as an incoming mayor. But then there's a, a series of things that we're going to do. It's going to be quite the festive day. Again, we're raising money uh, for that through various means. Some of it has to be APOC restricted through our campaign um, 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 going up to um, June 25th. And then after there's other groups that are raising money to, to have festivities. Uh, and it's gonna be on Park Strip on July uh, 1st, which I believe is a Thursday as uh, mm -hmm. we get ready for a 4th of July on Sunday. And it's gonna be kind of a kickoff of a 4th of July weekend. And we just anticipate it's 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 going to be fun and we'll release those details we're building them now and uh we're you know we're five weeks away and uh, it's just going to be fun that that's the theme of it it's a chance to say thank you to to the voters whether they voted to, for me or not we all had to put up with the last 14 or 16 months and and we're back in business that's the message we're going to try and convey is is that we're we're back in business as a city and we're we're here to enjoy life a little bit and have some fun. Yeah. And, uh, there, there's nothing wrong with fun. Um, no, you know, let's, 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 let's get back to work. Let's have some fun and, and uh, be good neighbors again. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's awesome. So uh, listen, when you were in Eagle river and I was there covering that event uh, that you guys had right before um, the final days, well, the deadline for, for voting in that runoff, you had the support of, you know, Mike, Mike Denlevy was there. I know Senator Sullivan showed up. I know uh, Representative Young wanted to be there, but was kind of caught in between two events. Uh, have you heard from, you know, Governor Dunleavy, uh, Don Young, uh, Senator Sullivan or Senator Markowski? Have you heard from any of them since yeah, you're... Uh, I, uh, I hear, uh, I've heard several times from uh, uh, Don Young. He congratulated me congratulated me uh, several times over the phone. He was in DC and, and I had lunch with him here two or three weeks ago. And um, he's very supportive, always, you know, he always has been. Um, uh, uh, Governor Dunleavy is, you know, we text pretty regular uh, and he, he gives support and guidance, which I really appreciate, as does um, uh, Senator Sullivan. He texted this morning, we kind of, <laughs> missed on phone calls yesterday he was out running on the mall and and uh and i was in a meeting and had the phone on silence we finally connected a couple times this morning on text and and he's here to help uh, he he likes the direction that we're going to go in and he's very supportive and i i'm looking real i'm very much looking forward to working with him and, and all three of them going forward in fact the entire delegation uh senator bukowski as well that's awesome now i know that uh uh, Governor Dunleavy was was really hoping, pulling for you, and in, in in his speech at Eagle River, he he stressed the importance of being able to have a good relationship not only with the mayor here in Anchorage and the municipality, but also the fact that they can work together closely and not feel like there's any kind of friction and or um, one upping, if you will. And I think part of that, I'm not, I'm going to say my words, not your words, just to be very clear. The Berkowitz administration and and maybe at some extent this current acting administration, there always seemed to be this contentious uh, one upping or it didn't always feel like people were playing on the same page. And I think this is a big deal. Do you get the sense from Governor Dunleavy that he's really excited to uh, be partnering with you, obviously, with Alaska's biggest city? 
Well, uh, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm not looking back to how, what their, <coughs> what, uh, what uh, Mayor Berkowitz's and Governor Dunleavy's relationship was. All I know is, it, you know, if it was a Democrat governor, I'd be just tickled pink to work with him or her as well. Um, and I and and I know uh, I, I consider Mike Dunleavy a friend, um, uh, and and I, I do look forward to working with him because he's the governor of my of, of my state, and he um, and remember about 40, 38, 40 percent of the city or state of Alaska lives in Anchorage, so he's got a huge constituency here, and uh, and and he wants to serve his citizens uh, as as well do I. Um, uh, we, we, I know the campaign is over. Um, I'm done with the campaign. I don't particularly like campaigning. Um, I love the people. That was the gift that I got out of it. But uh, um, the, the campaigning and the and the vitriol, uh, I, I don't like that. That's yeah. not my nature. I'm a problem solver, and um, I, I I I don't like the public part of it. Um, I don't like the celebrity that comes with it. I I'm, I just like to be. I'm the guy that wants to be in the back room solving problems. Um, yeah. Fortunately or unfortunately, in our form of government, you have to run for office to solve the problems. So here I am. Yeah. Well, Dave, uh, I think that was probably one of the endearing qualities that you had on the campaign trail that I heard from many of the people I talked to, who either were interested in voting for you or um, who did vote for you, was that you weren't looking for celebrity or that you just seem like a guy that saw a problem wanted to solve it and it's uh for lack of a better term i guess uh uh you know for the people by the people uh trying to help the people if you will well i have i have one more question i know you're busy so this last one's actually one that i'm, I'm sure we're gonna spend a little bit of time on but everybody wants to know now that you're you're you know the certification is just right around the corner how are you going to be able to work with a mostly left-leaning assembly uh, particularly one individual on that assembly who you campaigned against in the um, the runoff here. So just kind of, uh, and maybe it's just, hey, you touched on a little bit. We all want the same thing. We have different ways of approaching it. But how do we how do we do what you're looking to do, Dave? Which is bringing everybody together and trying to get everybody on the same page as much as possible, particularly in the assembly. Well, again, throughout the campaign, I was I was actually asked that many times uh, on debate formats and. And, and I intend on work, I agree with, I'm gonna probably agree with them on 80% of the things that we gotta do. And again, not to be redundant, but you know, we all gotta dodge the same potholes. We all have to plow snow and we're gonna, we're gonna work together to do those things. And, and then the 20% or so that we disagree on, uh, yeah, that'll be contentious, but I think it'll be polite. And, but at the end of the day is what matters is that it's, that we're effective doing the work that we're, we're all called to do. Um, Mr. Dunbar, we had some great debates um, and I, I'm just looking forward to continuing those debates uh, with him, uh, certainly in the assembly and, and in the work sessions, uh, because we gotta, we gotta get some problems fixed in this city. Um, you know, again, homelessness, the building process, the port is a, is a whole separate, very technical complex issue that's gonna take a lot of money to fix um, and uh, cause we gotta get back to normal business. We gotta use our, be, feel comfortable using our parks uh, again, um, which means we gotta fix the visible homeless problem. Um, we, we, we wanna get to back to summertime and in and, and baseball down at Mulcahy and, and those are the things we wanna do. And then, and then heading out to go fishing or, or just fishing at Ship Creek. You know, the Kings yeah. are almost here and, and uh, I, I just, you know, uh, I don't know if it's a Norman Rockwell uh, thing I have about my city, but that's what I want. That's what I want to get back to where, yeah. where the restaurants are, are full. We went down to Tent City the other night. It was it was full. It was great. Great conversations with uh, with the folks that were there. Got to meet uh, lucky enough to meet the, the executive chef there and and uh and that's what i like doing you know going to simon seifert's and eating there in front of the window uh looking out over the inlet that's what's normal for me we all got our definition of normal some it's just bike trails and, and climbing the mountains which i do too um but that's I, i've just got a vision of what i want to get back to yeah 
Well, Dave, l- let me just end on this, a fun personal note. What are some of the what are some of your favorite memories of summertime here in Alaska? Well, <laughs> you know, flying across the inlet and 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 maybe landing on a beach, um, having a picnic, or uh, you know, I, I kind of spend time when, when the water's down on the Susitna River, landing on sandbars, and you know, we we do long range shooting or I've been, I've been going over and for some Korean friends of mine that love them. I've been, I've been dip netting for, for hooligan for them. I bring them back because the church, uh, they really like it uh, for making their, their fish sauce. I I love doing it. They think it's a burden on me. No, it's, it's, it's something I've been doing for a few years. I love doing it and it just getting out, uh, you know, and in the city itself, the bike trails are kind of the big thing for me, the bike trails and flat top. That, yeah. that's that that's summertime for me and uh you know putting on the helmet and getting on the bike and and cranking some tunes and just hitting the hit the bike <laughs> on the on, on the on the fat tire bike you know absolutely i don't think anybody would have any problem no matter what party or political background you have with yeah. that at all well dave i want to thank you so much again it's been incredible uh as we talk right now i don't even know if this is correct it, it may be is it 72 degrees outside right now? Well, I've been in, off, in the office since 6, 6.30 this morning, uh, 7.30 this morning, and uh, the sun just goes around in a circle, and I'm just looking at the mountains over at uh, the Alaska Range, Mount Spur, and Iliam, and Redoubt, and, and I'm going, man, <laughs> it's time to go, maybe get ready to go fishing at the rivers over there, you know? Absolutely, but, absolutely. Maybe I think not it is. so much anymore. <laughs> well, it is 72 out there. I just confirmed that. So it's a it's sunny, man. There's just scattered clouds, but it is beautiful out there. So, Dave, your your Norman Rockwell uh, idea, which I resonate with, old Americana. Uh, I really do love that, and I love your vision for Anchorage. And again, I can't express enough my gratitude for taking the time. I know you're busy, yep. but Dave, thank you so much. I look forward to. Uh, to, to hearing from you, to seeing what your, your administration is going to do. And again, talking to you maybe at some point somewhere down the road, but uh, yeah. enjoy the summer, Dave, as much as you can. You. All right. Yep. Take care. I, Thank you. I'm looking forward. Thanks, Scott. Really appreciate it. Take care. Yep. Well, I want to thank Dave Bronson for joining with me again, mayor elect here in Anchorage. It was uh, a campaign that he, Uh, worked really hard at. He had an incredible team, credible volunteers, credible staff that he had. And uh, now he's in the transition process. And again, it's a process. It's one of those things in politics we don't know a lot about if you're not into politics, but no, there is a transition process. There's a, there's a way to, you know, when you're shifting people out from a previous administration to shift people into a current administration or the upcoming one, to be more precise, it's there. But guys, thank you so much. Listen, Must Read Alaska supporters, listeners, and readers, you guys have been incredible. It's summertime, but the politics here in Alaska do not stop. There's so much more to talk about. But uh, Dave has been just gracious with us. You know, last week we had him on just before, uh, just talking about the campaign and possibly transition. And now that has become, um, it it has become a a reality for him. And uh, listen, you did what I asked you to do. You voted. And there was a lot of people. I think they had a record number of voting this year. So regardless of who you voted for, I'm just glad that people got out and voted. And I think that is imperative. Uh, whether I had a small, if any part of that, I don't really care. I just wanted people to go out and vote for the change they wanted to see. Hey, listen, if you love this content and you want to continue to help us as we put out more content, you can do so by supporting Must Read Alaska by going to mustreadalaska.com and clicking on the support at the upper right of the website. Uh, Again, we love all of our readers, listeners, and supporters. It's because of you that we're able to do this. Also, if you could just take a minute, go ahead. I didn't do this at the beginning. I wanted to do it at the end because I have to respect Dave's time. Uh, If you could take a minute and give us a five-star review, that'd be incredible. It really helps us when people are searching for our podcast or subject matter that we talk about. And if you could take another minute, give us a written review. We love hearing from our listeners. It's, it's incredible to see your, your positivity and your support encouragement. It's been phenomenal. And listen, if you want to find us on all of the social media, rumble, me, we parlor, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, all of it's under the same handle. It's must read Alaska, all one word, but Hey, listen, 
It has. It is a gorgeous day. I am no longer going to stay in. It's time to get out. It's time to go on the bike trails, like Dave said. It's time to enjoy an Alaskan summer. So until next week, take care. <laughs>